Hi, good morning and good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial. So today in this video, I would like to share something about the complete mainframe life cycle in a couple of minutes. So let's go ahead and start. So what is a project in general? So to give a simple definition, it is a way to accomplish a task. So what could be the various steps involved to complete a project? So first of all, we would be initiating the project. Project should be initiated. Who would be initiating the project? A client will be initiating a project and we gather a requirements. In software terminology, we call it as a business requirement documentation. Then an analysis has it to be done, which is known as functional or high, high specification documents. So once an analysis has been done, so we will come into the designing part which is like uh, it might be a low level designing high level designing then based on these designs we prefer a technical specification document we call it as a TSD so once the design and technical specification document has been prepared so it will be assigned to your respective project manager and project leads right to the team members so so the team member starts coding on it so once the coding has been completed, they plan for unit test planning. So and once the unit test planning is completed, it goes to testing. So where the testers can do a testing, either can be, it can be a manual or it can be an automation. So various testing will be performed in some of the, inter it will be like system integration testing or unit integrating testing. So once the testing plan is successfully completed, so it will be successfully moved to deployment. So this is the different hierarchy so how the project plans and project initiative will take care okay so coming to the project types what are the different kinds of project we may expect so in mainframe so that is uh, development we will get as a development projects we can work on a maintenance or an enhancement projects we'll get a migration projects production support and various so on so what are the different kinds of domains we have for the mainframe? Uh, our mainframes are running for a banking systems or insurance, manufacturing, retail, reservation system, telecom and so on. So let us talk a little bit detail about uh, what is maintenance or development and production support. So what is the, the maintenance and enhancement project? So, these are nothing but modifying or adding an extra feature to an existing system without disturbing the existing functionality or existing system. So we just modify whatever is existing in production and we give we add an extra feature to the existing application. That's it. That is that's, that was about the uh, maintenance and enhancement project. Coming to the de development, it is a development uh, it's like uh, building an application from scratch from A to Z so we will get a new complete requirements so what kind of applications we need to develop and everything so it's from scratch we develop so this type of application is from scratch application or the development application so for example develop a develop and reservation system application right so production support it is a long time project that is give that is giving a complete support to the application which is live in production we have already developed an applications which is maintained which is taken by by different clients so different clients are using this project so we need to give a complete support on this so these are these all comes under the production support they monitor 24 by 7 all the jobs and everything whenever there is an issue it will be they will fix immediately if they are unable to fix it they will move back to the development team they will take care of everything so migration project changing a language code from one language to another language code or from one system to another system these are all the migration so various from uh, change, uh, migrating from one system to another system so for example converting an IBM mainframe to HP or Unisys or converting a mainframe applications from main frame to Unix or migrating uh, migrating from uh, mainframe platform to a Unix platform and so on so these are about the migration project so while working on this uh, development maintenance or migration project we may we would be all the MNC companies will be using the uh, the different controls of tools so so what could be the various different kinds of tools so, uh, version control tools data utility tools and debugging tools so what is version control tool it is used to maintain software applications and track the versions of the changes we do and easy to maintain it maintain the latest version 
previous versions, oldest version, and the oldest version. So it is a better way to track the changes it made. So the changes might be like the copy books, J JCL, source programs, and everything. So it is easy way to track it who, which person, or which employee has been changed. The which developer or programmer has changed with particular copy book or something. It will it will keep track of everything, and it is a very wonderful tool when we work using this so many software industry companies use different kinds of tool according to their standards and uh, their policies so uh, the various control uh, various control tools available in the market are like changemen endeavor pan wallet and librarian so most of the companies use their uh, changemen man one so th there are many more where version tools which is used but uh, these are the many these are the major tools everywhere used so and coming to the data utility tools, it is a file aid tool which is mainly used for file processing. Whether uh, if you have a large file, we, when, when you're trying to browse it or edit it, you you cannot uh, say normal browse mode cannot hold the buffer area, and you cannot utility. And we can perform various operations using this file aid tool. You can view, you, know, you can copy the copy book, and you can see the complete layout of this. Uh, and everything so it has various advantage features and everything it's it's mainly used for file handling so debugging tools so the what is a debugging tool it is a debugging tool used to resolve the issues by debugging the programs for both batch or online programs with this tool we can easily fix the problems easy and faster so what are the various uh, debugging tools we have xp editor inner test and smart test that's it. This is all about the mainframe life cycle we do when working on mainframe platform. So just to recap, we talked about what is a project, what are the different kinds of project types we used, what are the domains, uh, we looked into the complete definitions of what is development, direction support, migration and maintenance of projects and the, the different kinds of tools used. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed with this video. Kindly please share you share your comments. Or if you like this video, please subscribe me on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Have a great and wonderful day.